What's up guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to create lamb shoulder chops and side dishes that will quite literally make this one of the most amazing dishes that I've ever made. Let's jump to it. You're probably wondering what exactly mixes one of the best meals I've ever made. Well, it actually doesn't start with the lamb. It starts with the carrots and the vinegar-based herb sauce. The lamb and potatoes actually complement the carrots, not the other way around. So let's start with carrots. After washing and scrubbing your rainbow carrots, cut away at the carrot top and tiny end pieces. Save some of the carrot tops as we will use these for our sauce. Now we set our oven on roast for the temperature. Set it for 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the time, it's a total of 35, 40 minutes, but let's start with 15. Now we add the time to our trays and we cut a head of garlic and set that on with the paper on it. Add some olive oil. I didn't show it here, but I added salt and pepper. While our oven is heating up to the 450 degrees Fahrenheit temperature, we are starting with our sauce. And first, after washing our parsley, we removed the stems and roughly chopped them up. Now we're zesting our parsley using a microplane there about a third of that lemon there, minus the seeds, we have the juice. We have olive oil, white wine vinegar, some local honey, salt, and pepper. And we're just going to add more of any of those ingredients, just depending on my palate and how it really should taste. You just gotta keep tasting, right? So you want it to be mainly vinegary and zesty, a little bit of sweetness. So good, guys. Now we're in with our two trays of carrots and garlic. And as I mentioned before, 15 minutes. Almost forgot that we had tiny ones in there. <laughs> Those actually look pretty good. I'm probably gonna have to take out these smaller ones. They're not caramelized, so I'm gonna leave them there inside for just a little longer. But it's a good thing that we check because those are smaller and these obviously the larger ones are gonna take some time. And as I mentioned before, the outside ones, the bigger ones. It's the hottest part of the pan, from what I understand. So, strategically, we're okay with where they're positioned. We had like four and a half minutes for that second 15 minute increment and the reason why I took a peek around that time is because I really do not want to burn and while while they're they're okay burnt you do want them to look aesthetically appealing right so to me that's half of it right is to get them so they look good to eat <laughs> another thing too is we everybody's I mean is different number one, and number two, we have small, medium, and somewhat larger sized carrots. So they're gonna cook at different rates. So that's why you gotta keep an eye on them uh, as much as you can. You want the small ones and the medium ones to look just as gorgeous as the large ones. So you want them all consistent. <laughs>
All right, so as you saw, I took out the small ones, including the garlic. They look delicious, as you can see here. The surface there is burnt. The inside is probably so good, guys. If you love garlic, roasted garlic is just by far the best way to eat garlic, in my opinion. These baby carrots are looking really nice. I'll give them some, uh, I'll spread them out here so they can cool properly. Um, but anyhow, I set the timer for an additional five minutes for those medium and larger size carrots to do their thing. And these are looking really nice. Oh, with that sauce, this is gonna be amazing. My wife told me to save her some because this is by far the best side dish that I make for her. So there we are. All right guys, time is up. And those are good, yes. Those are looking just how they should be. Look at that, nice, brown, consistently. Sort of there, but that's fine. That looks great, guys. Okay, gotta turn this off. Whew. Hot city. And I'm holding the little one right now. Now after washing our baby potatoes, we add them to a pot of boiling water. Don't forget to add salt. These potatoes will be done in about 12 minutes. Kill the heat, let's work on our lamb shoulder preparation. Lightly oil your lamb shoulder. You're gonna season of course with some salt and freshly ground pepper. I should mention that you should use avocado oil instead of olive oil since it has a higher smoke point. We've just finished with the searing on both sides. We've lowered the heat from high flame to low flame. And now we're just gonna slow cook it on the skillet for 40 minutes or thereabouts. And we're going to flip it though every four minutes or so and that sort of slow cooking will help make the lamb tender, all right? All right, guys, we are done with our lamb shoulder chops with roasted carrots and pan fried potatoes. I hope you tried this recipe, guys. Thanks again for watching, as always, and we'll see you next time.